Nigerian government has been advised to revisit the automotive policy to make it more competitive and attractive to business dealers. Speaking at an automobile gathering in Lagos, industry players say this will open up the auto parts, uh, spare parts market and create more jobs for the unemployed population. We have details in this report. Reports shows that Nigeria spends more than $8 billion annually importing used vehicles into the country, a development that experts say is not sustainable for economic growth and development of Africa's most populous country. This gathering of automobile practitioners in Lagos is focused on showcasing recent development in the sector and proffer workable solutions to increase the production and use of new vehicles. It looks like everybody who is involved in the industry is not satisfied with where we are today. So I think it needs to be reviewed again so that, you know, the aim of getting a viable motor industry in Nigeria is achieved because what we have right now doesn't seem to be working perfectly. They maintain that government needs to review the automotive policy to attract more investments. According to them, if this is not affected, neighboring countries will continue to benefit from import trade, a situation that will reduce government's revenue generation drive. This is one area that will create thousands, if not millions of jobs. This is one area that will quickly industrialize Nigeria. And it is the route a lot of countries have taken, like India, China, Pakistan, Malaysia. They have taken the route of autopaths because that's the foundation for development in the automobile sector. Not assembling when you don't have all these parts and you are assembling. You are getting it wrong. Industry source as it that Nigeria's auto spare parts market is worth over $4 billion, with more than 13 million vehicles plying the national roads. Industry players say the market remains an untapped gold mine. 